3D Evil Pumpkin with an Opening Mouth Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be doing an Evil Pumpkin Acrylic Nailer Tutorial, and this one also has a sort of 4D essence to it. So you can pull down his lower jaw like this, just straight down, and then it opens. And so there gets to be a much bigger, more vicious looking mouth, and then you can close it, and you can still see the line, but it's not as gaping and like it's gonna reach out and eat you. So. I hope you like this, and I'm also going to be uploading a more elegant fall style pumpkin that's got some filigree in it and lacy. It's pretty instead of creepy looking. So I'll be uploading that soon, and so check back for that. And don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I buffed my nail tip just so that it had a nice matte surface, and then I can use a pencil and I can draw out my pumpkin shape. This is so crucial that you draw it out, so don't forget, make sure you draw it out. And then I'm going to add some dots in the lower section for where I'm going to place my magnets, and then two lines for where I'm going to create cutouts. This is part of that little slider mechanism that I am going to be making later, and then I also drew out his eyes and his his, um, I want to say horn, that's not the right word, stem. So there you can see I took some nail glue and I put the magnets together and I left them attached for some idiotic reason. So then as they're glued on there and the glue wasn't quite set, I couldn't separate them because these are relatively strong magnets and I just couldn't get them apart. So I obviously had a little bit of a struggle with that. Once I did finally get them apart and separated, which took a lot more doing than it should have and got them into place without getting a whole bunch of glue on my fingers. Haha, ha, I was covered in glue by the end of this nail. It was ridiculous. I think all of my fingernails were completely filled with glue underneath. It's yeah, I don't, I don't do well with glue. But then after I got those in place, I'm going to start carving out the little cutouts next to them. The cutouts have to be a certain size, which is where it gets a little bit, a little tricky. They have to be wide enough for a bead to comfortably fit in them. And by comfortably, I mean there has to be a space around the bead entirely. And they have to be the same width as the, or the same length, I guess, as the space between and including the magnet. So I have to go all the way to the top of the first magnet and all the way to the bottom of the bottom magnet. So make sure that your magnets are close enough together that this will work so that they don't interfere with your pumpkin smile or they don't go off the tip of the nail either. So make sure that you have all of that worked out and just carve them out with your e-file. I did this extremely cautiously and slowly. If you are a little more confident than I am with an e-file, you could probably just zip those out lickety-split. Like I said, I'm a little bit more on like the cautious, slow and steady way of doing things. And then I'm going to, after the, cut, after the cutouts are good and your beads are going to fit in them, then you can take some black acrylic and start sculpting around that whole bottom section. So you have his teeth, or I guess his carved out smile. Not exactly teeth sort of teeth. Um, you have that all drawn in, so just make sure that you sculpt your black acrylic within that and leave a little bit of an edge on the black so that you can file away later on and do a like a little reveal thing there. Whoops, hitting my microphone as I'm talking with my hands. Um, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so just sculpt out all that, and as I said, I talk with my hands. I don't know if you've noticed that in the intros. I, I like, have no control over my arms when I'm speaking. So I hit my microphone all the time when I'm doing these voiceovers and it makes these little funking sounds. It's just me acting like, I don't know, a chimpanzee or something. So anyways, get all of those teeth sculpted out so that there's enough thickness on them that you can file them later. And then after you got that, make sure that you can add a little more thickness over the magnet so that they're smooth and it's not like a big lump. You want that to be as smooth as you can possibly get it. And if it goes over the top of the magnets and adds some thickness there, that's okay. Mine did, and I just filed it later. But you want to, at this point, usually I don't say this, you want to have a little extra acrylic that you can file off instead of having not quite enough acrylic and not being able to do anything about it. So generally, I always try to say make things as thin as possible, not now, not in this particular circumstance. Make it thick enough that it's not going to be an issue later when you do need to file. And then just smooth out the rest of it. Now that that middle's a little thicker, you might need to add some more thickness to his bottom, to the bottom at the tip of the nail or to the jaw, just to make sure it is smooth. And then I'm also going to take some black acrylic and I'm going to be adding his eyes. And his eyes, I didn't do exactly where they were in my little drawing because they didn't fit quite right, especially that one that I'm doing right now. I just made them where they need to be. That's not as exact as all of that little um, stuff at the bottom there. And so then I'm also going to fill in around his head at the top. Why am I, I mean, he's not around the top of the pumpkin. 
I'm thinking of this guy as like a little human it's in my brain. That's what that's what he is. He's a little human, and his stem is a horn, not a stem. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But then I'm gonna fill in the rest of his face with orange. I'm not gonna fight it anymore. The rest of his face with orange. And before you start adding the orange, you want to make sure that that black acrylic is. 100% set or it's going to bleed into your orange and then it's going to create a muddy color that's not nearly as bright and pretty so make sure that your black is 100% set and that that's not going to get all muddy looking because that would waste all of that hard work you put into it so far and if your orange goes over any of the black at all don't fret we're going to fix that up later and it won't be an issue whatsoever and I'm going to fill in his <laughs> his stem with green and once again, if the green goes over the black or the orange, not an issue. So now I'm going to be filing. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file until I reveal the magnets. I want the magnets to be visible. So I'm going to file them. If you have your e-file or your hand file, I used an e-file because I want this process to be a little faster. Um, if you have your e-file set at a very low speed, it's not going to file through the metal of the magnets. It's going to just sort of file the acrylic off of them, which is what I did. So just make sure that your e-file is not set at full blast and you're going to zip right past everything slow and steady wins the race i think i've said that already today i don't know anyways so just file gently slowly reveal all of those beautiful lines you created so the lines for his eyes and for <laughs> his stem every time i want to say horn it's gonna it's gonna bug me every for the rest of this video anyways just file so that the entire nail is nice and smooth just like that and then I'm going to wrap this guy in plastic wrap. And then I'm going to take another magnet, just one this time, and I'm going to put it over the top of the upper magnet, so the one that's closest to his smile. And then with orange acrylic, I'm going to be putting that over and around this nail and just sculpting out his lower jaw. And when you're doing this, when you start getting towards the little zigzag of his mouth you're going to want to make sure that you do not go over the orange from above so just go right up to it and make sure that if anything a little bit of black shows if you go over the orange his mouth isn't going to close properly later and you're going to have to file either somewhere you somewhere is going to have to get fixed so just make sure that it does not go over that but you leave just the faintest of a black line and so if you're concerned about leaving enough space here you might want to go and use a a slower setting monomer instead of like a really fast one or a medium setting monomer um just to make sure you have enough time to adjust things before it gets set up if that, i mean that's just a recommendation you don't have to take my word for anything but just you know <laughs> i'm gonna say slow and steady again do one tooth at a time don't try to rush this you want it to be able to work in when you're all set and all done um, if you do this in half an hour, which I mean, it might not take you today. I don't think that's about what it took me. If you do it in half an hour and you do it nice and slow and stuff and it works out, that's awesome. But if you do it in 20 minutes and it doesn't work, that's 10 minutes less time it took you to make it, but it's 20 minutes wasted. And so I missed a little part. After your acrylic is set for the lower jaw, you can just pop that off the saran wrap. And then I just smooth it out a little bit because the saran wrap is a little wrinkly. When it's on a smooth surface like this, it's not terribly wrinkly, just just a little bit. And so then I'm going to go and I'm going to be uh, adding another layer of orange acrylic to the upper part of my pumpkin. I want it to be three-dimensional off the nail away from the black and away from the stem. So I'm not covering up his eyes at all. Those I'm leaving as they were. I'm just adding more acrylic everywhere else. And this is the exact same thing. Do not go over the black at all. At this point, make sure it just goes right up to the black. If anything, leave a little orange from beneath showing. If just so that there's the little faintest of a line between the two sections and that's not going to be an issue once you're putting his mouth together. And the other thing I did to give him another ever so slightly three-dimensional essence is I added a little bit more acrylic around the outside of his eyes right at that upper corner and just in sort of like a a furrowed eyebrow appearance like he's squinting at you yeah that's pretty much the only really three-dimensional thing that I did here that's that is shown with the dimensions otherwise everything else is done it's all pretty smooth 
and I added some of these shapes with paint later. And I'm going to be painting over my magnets just so that they're black. I didn't use acrylic, but just paint. And then I'm going to be um, adding a layer of gel sealer over all of the black stuff and over the stem, curing that. And then I have, I'm just holding that, that lower jaw on there. It holds pretty good because the magnet and I drew two little dots through the holes underneath for where my beads need to go. And I'm going to glue my beads into place with nail glue once again, the infamous. Yeah, I had nail glue. It's just, it's never gone well for me. I did find though that using that pointy little tweezers I have to place the beads was definitely the route to take. It does not work to place the magnets down because unfortunately the tweezers are metal and magnetic and the magnets stuck. But for doing the beads, it worked out really well. You can just sort of set them in there. And by really well, I mean it worked okay. Nothing works really well when it comes to nail glue. After those are on there though, I'm going to take some clear acrylic and just sort of reinforce the hold on them. I don't want to add any width to them, but just a little bit in the front and the back, just the tiniest bit of clear acrylic to make them hold really nice and well, and then take really fine wire and cut two pieces of it. So I'm going to take my little thin bit from my e-file and I'm going to create two little wells on either side of the holes. I'm not going to file all the way through to the outside, just enough for the wire to rest in and have it not make any shape so just or any thickness so just file that off we're going to re put it in so don't worry about it being too thin so just file that and then i'm sorry i'm off camera place the jaw back on push the the beads through those two cutouts we made earlier and then slide the wire between or through the bead so that the ends of the wire are sitting in those little wells we just made with the e-file and then cover the ends of the wire with clear acrylic this part i hope it makes sense it's a pretty easy concept but i know i was off camera for a bit and i apologize for that um, but once it's on there you will be able to slide your jaw but don't try sliding the jaw until that acrylic is set or you might mess up your wire so just paint and don't try it out for a second have faith it'll work do your painting let it finish and then you can go and you can give it a try just to make sure that all of that glue and acrylic is set so that you don't end up popping it off and I'm going to take some brown and black acrylic or yeah, acrylic paint, and I'm going to dilute it uh, by dipping my brush in water and then just mixing it with the paint on my thumb. And I'm going to add all of my little dimensions to my pumpkin. So I'm going to make it look like he's got the ribbing that they do. And then I'm also going to highlight him with some creamier color of orange. Not too much of that, of that highlighting. I don't want him to look bright. I want him to stay kind of dark and dreary. And then after that's done, you should be safe to open your jaw. So just slide it down and then apply matte top coat over him. Top coat with his jaw open so that you don't top coat it shut and glue it shut that way. And then you are all set. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this design. Please share recreations with me on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to see them and I will see you in my next video. Bye.